going on with my tank lately. And uh, it's night right now on my reef. And I uh, just turned the lights on to make this video. So I just uh, cleaned the glass too. So it may be a little cloudy. But um, just wanted to go through a few things that, a uh, few little things that I got going on with my tank that are new here. First things first, I wanted to show you guys my first try at some SPS. Now you may not be able to see it too well because I just have the uh, one blue plus and one actinic purple light on. One blue plus and one purple plus, but uh, these are my two first SPS corals. And the one on the right is a Sunset Montipora, and the one on the top is a Superman Montipora. They are both encrusting Montiporas, and um, they seem to be doing pretty well. I had the, um, the orange one a little bit lower than it is right now, and I, it, it started to die a little bit on the edges, so uh, I raised it up and it seems to be coming back to health beautifully right now it's uh... not fully recuperated but it's getting there it's definitely uh... getting a little better as the days go on now i had the superman the blue and it's almost like a blue bluish purple mixed with like a, i'd say like reddish like reddish orange polyps and that one seems to be doing fine. It's been in the same position high up in the tank since I got it. And uh, there's been no die-off. And I do see minimal signs of growth on it, which I'm very pleased about. The other one is called a Sunset Montipora. And it's, a, it's orange with yellow polyps. They're both really awesome. They, these lights are really not doing it any justice right now. But... Uh, they're really two awesome pieces of coral, and I'm very glad I got them, and they seem to be doing well, so very happy about that. Also, quick update on the MP40, which is t doing so much good for this tank right now. I mean, I've got no buildup on the sand bed ever since I've got it. Um, I also bought a Gobi to kind of stir up the sand bed a little and he's been doing a great job I know a lot of people say gobies aren't too good for a live deep sand bed but I mean I'm just gonna try it out and see how it goes everything seems to be doing fine all my phosphate levels nitrate levels ammonia and nitrate are all like undetectable right now on my test kits and I have no signs of cyano growth at all. I'm pretty sure I completely cured that problem that I was having. But um, the Gobi seems to be doing an awesome job, along with the sand sifting star, which is actually under the sand right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But um, just a little quick update on what's been going on in my tank. I also got a uh, yellow mimic tang. I don't know if you guys can see him. I really can't find him right now. Like I said, it just turned the lights on, so everything seems to be in the dark right now and hiding. But everything seems to be going well, except for the fact that a few weeks ago, I spoke to New York Steel on on a question I had about my pH. I could not maintain my pH at a level of 8.3. It constantly stays between 8.0 and 8.1 even when I add the two part buffer system and the buffer system I can't use too much of the the alkalinity one because it seems to be raising my alkalinity without bringing my pH up too much. So my pH levels are constantly at an 8.0, 8.1 level and Stilo had mentioned the use of calc washer in my auto top off to me and I wasn't too familiar with that 
so I did some research on it and I've decided to go with the, that method I'm going to stop dosing the part A and part B method I'm gonna stop doing that and I bought some ESV calcium hydroxide and I'm going to be adding this to my auto top off system at a level of two teaspoons per one gallon of fresh water fresh RO water now it says here to drip use the drip method but I actually added 10 teaspoons to this six seven gallon container I didn't use the full dose because I want to make sure it's not too strong so I added about a five gallon dose to this seven gallon container and what I'm going to be doing is I also heard a Justin Frank speaking of this method on a video randomly the other day and it just happened to uh, just happened to click in my head that he said his local fish store uses this method and I was doing research on it for the past month and really just trying out the A and B and seeing if that was going to work out for me because I didn't want to have to go this route but uh, after doing all the research I'm pretty sure that this is probably the better route to go so what I'm going to be doing is adding this calc washer once again this ESV calc washer which uh, is about 16 ounce bottle I paid about 10 bucks for it at my local fish store I like to support the ESV brands I'm going to be buying their new salt mixture too it's uh, it's it's a company at a Hicksville New York which is about 10 minutes from my house so I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of supporting of this ESV brand because I hear they're very good and uh, they, they're right around the neighborhood so I figure why not and my local fish store carries carries their products at an awesome excellent price so I'm gonna be switching up all my uh, all my dosing and every every most of my products to ESV so um, like I said I did my research I've been doing it for the past month and I decided to go this route this is the first video I'm making I've just added the calc washer powder to the auto top off and I have not dosed any of it yet so this is the first video I'm making and I will make some updates to let you guys know how this how this whole little little thing that I'm doing here how it's gonna go how it's gonna progress and what's gonna happen as of right now my pH is 8.05 as you can see and my temperature is about 78 degrees so I mean my pH is a little low and it likes to stay around that area so hopefully this method that I'm trying out here is going to work out and um I also found this great product magnesium product it's actually very uh, very concentrated and works very well I dose the recommendations on the bottle which is five milliliters per 20 gallons about every two three days which uh, seems to keep my magnesium levels just where I need them so if ESV had a magnesium supplement I would buy it from them but I've had so much good luck with this that I'm going to keep using this Brightwell Aquatics magnesium for the meantime so I mean this stuff is awesome it works great like I said my uh, my tank takes doses about every three days I do it every two three days and uh, seems to keep my magnesium levels right where I want them so between the magnesium and the calcium hydroxide aka calc washer I am going to see if I could get a uh, better growth with my with my corals and my uh, and my coralline algae I want to see if that picks up as well so this is update number one and uh, maybe in a few weeks I'll make update number two and uh, really see how everything's going.